Hello guys, Omni here. Last night I saw Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, and never have I ever been filled with so much anxiety and dread when going into a film that is in a franchise that I love and adore. After the state of the franchise and the fandom that has been left in after The Last Jedi, I was really worried about what I was going to think going into this movie. And that's one thing I've never talked about here, at least in my videos so much. I've mentioned it a couple of times in the comments was my thoughts on The Last Jedi because I don't like stirring the pot on controversy because whether you like it or not, you're, 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 you're inviting, inviting a lot of that negativity either way from the people that loved it or the people that hated it. That being said, I can't talk about this movie without talking about my feelings on The Last Jedi. And there are some things that I did really like in it, but overall, I can't stand that movie. I think I've only seen it two times, the one time in theater, and then another time just a couple months ago when I was like, ah, let me, let me give it another chance. And it, it just still does not work for me. And out of all 11 movies that there are now, it's number 11 for me. And I think on a technical level, as far as like production, editing, pacing, uh, performances, it's one of the best ones. But as a Star Wars movie, it is just so lacking that this film is trying to make up for that and course correct so hard. This movie tries to be two movies in one. It both ignores things from The Last Jedi, it retcons some things, and then in other, way, other stuff, it just says, well, actually, we meant this. It makes this movie extremely clunky. This movie is probably the poorest constructed film in the entire franchise, but at least it tries to be a Star Wars film. It feels like it fits in with the world. It does. It brings a, a closure and a, some, brings some things full circle. It, it does its best with what it was left with after The Last Jedi to put a bookend on not just this sequel trilogy, but all nine films. And I think it does it okay. It does not end things the way I would have wanted it to end, but I'm okay with the ending we got. Um, I really liked a lot of this film. There's some things I straight up did not like, though. It's not perfect. Uh, the opening, they're rushing through. The, the first 40 minutes of this movie is so poorly paced that it, it barely lingers on anything. This entire movie is really poorly paced. It's so, it speeds through so many moments trying to cram two movies into this, both a second and a third film in a trilogy into a singular movie because they didn't like what happened in The Last Jedi, that it just, you never have a moment to linger on anything. So a lot of hard hitting, what should have been emotional moments, you're not allowed to let sink in. And that's why I think at the end of the movie and why it took me so long to film this is because I had to really kind of sit and think after the movie about what did I feel about some of these moments? Because at the end of the movie, you know, I, 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 I felt like it was okay. I felt like I felt satisfied. Me and my friends were talking about it. And some of them were going into this movie expecting to completely hate this. They had almost no hopes of liking it. And we all pretty much in the end enjoyed it for the most part. It's not what any of us wanted. It's not the perfect conclusion to the Skywalker saga, but it's, it did, it, it did the best with what it had left on the table. You know, what the last Jedi I think did as a huge disservice was keep all of the main characters separated because that's one shining point in this movie is that our core cast from the sequel trilogy is together throughout the entirety of this movie. And, you know, they shine in this. This is their best performances throughout this whole thing. And some of their arcs are better than others, but just seeing Ray, Poe, and Finn together in this, and just the way all of the actors come together, their chemistry, all of it just oozes on screen, and it just makes me wonder why keep them separated in the other film. Because there's, there was almost no connection between them or development between them. But this film ignored that and pretended like there was, and there is if you read the books, but you shouldn't go into the movie expecting to do homework. 
And the movie does a good job really showing you the bond that has grown between these three characters and this kind of family kinship that is built, built between them. Something else this movie does, since it does take place roughly about a year or so after the events of The Last Jedi, is show some growth with Rey, her training and uh, learning to use her abilities, actually having her struggle with some things throughout the film, it actually helps, deep, helps deepen her character to kind of alleviate some of those Mary Sue complaints that a lot of people have, myself included. That it, it doesn't perfectly mitigate a lot of that, but it does do a lot better of a job here. And it even dives deeper into her relationship with the Force, with her relationship to her past, the mystery that surrounds her, where she comes from, her relationship with Kylo. Kylo in this movie shines a lot as well. And even though there's some inconsistencies there uh, with the character compared to where he was at the end of The Last Jedi, but it still all kind of works together in the end, I think. And it, it does a really good job at executing a lot of the interpersonal relationships between all of the new characters as well as some of the older ones. You know, the way they had to work around Carrie Fisher's death, I thought it would stick out a lot more than it did, and in some moments it does, but they do a really good job at keeping an, an, and honoring Carrie Fisher and Leia in this very well. And the Emperor, though, does feel like forced into this because he was, he was never, no matter what Kathleen Kennedy says, Colin Trevorrow and J.J. Abrams both contradict her statements that he was always part of the plan. He was not. And it shows, even though it confirms a lot of people's theories that people had back in The Force Awakens. So in that way, you know, it does feel set up. Just, you know, we had a movie in the middle that told us otherwise. So I don't know. It's just so strange. But a lot of things were work. A lot of things worked. A lot of things didn't. The visuals were great. And, you know, seeing some of the fan service was well done. Some others, not so great. Um, they, they do their best. That's the best I can say with this. It's not bad. It's not great. It's like right in the middle of my rankings as far as Star Wars movies go. It's not, it's not at the bottom. That's for sure. But I don't know. I know this is going to be a movie so many people were divided on. It's already like people are screaming about it on Twitter. Uh, some people praising it, some people not. It's just, again, it's one of those things. And I'm really curious to see how this trilogy stands the test of time. Because a lot of people eased up on the prequels. Even the people that just load them when they came out or, or, or turned around on them a little bit now. Um... So I'm wondering how we'll all retrospectively feel about this franchise going going forward in the future. There's more good in this movie than I think there is bad, at least for me. This is, this went, if The Last Jedi didn't happen and we had a movie in the middle that was more coherent with this film and The Force Awakens, I feel like we would have had a much better movie. I think we would have had a much more satisfying conclusion. But that being said, we got what we got, and it wasn't that bad. It just wasn't great. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's some of my thoughts on it. I can't really go any further into it without talking about spoilers, and maybe I'll make a spoiler video. I do have the weekend off, so maybe I'll do that. If you guys want me to talk about some of the things I just did not like or in the movie, if you've seen it, talk about some of the spoilers, go into detail about any of that, let me know in the comments. Aside from that, if you've seen the film, let me know what you thought down in the comments as well so we can have that conversation after the video. If you like this video, support the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and I really want to thank you guys. I appreciate you all, and I thank you all for tuning in and watching these videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. May the Force be with you always. Take care, everybody.